Yeah, speaking of like summer and winter, like there's there's different hazards at different times of the year. So that's another thing to keep in mind. You know, like you're not like how would somebody prepare like during wildfire season? Yeah, absolutely. Well, the first thing they want to know is if their house is in an area that's prone to wildfire, Mm -hmm. um, how much defensible space they'd need to build around their house, make sure they're keeping that clear. I always, you know, suggest that people get their gutters cleared out so there's not things in there. And that's actually really great for flood season as well, so Mm -hmm. you're not creating that weight on your roof. And and then, of course, a go kit is really crucial if you're in an area that has been evacuated before or could have Mm -hmm. to be evacuated, that you have the stuff you need ready to go when that evacuation notice comes in just in case you need to leave really quickly Mm -hmm. Um, for winter obviously you're going to want to make sure you have your warmer things closer to the top so when you're recycling things and thinking oh it's a new season bring those things that are easy to grab up to the top Uh, one thing i like to think about for power outages is make sure this is a silly one but um, make sure that if you have the potential to lose power in an event that you've cleared your hallways and your floors of things that you could probably trip on Mm -hmm. i've had so many people i know just trip and hurt themselves because they can't see or they don't have their flashlight right away so yeah (laughs) that'd be be something in a major earthquake you know power goes out and you 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 survive the earthquake but then you walk out in your hall and you trip and you bump your head and it's like come on (laughs) like like i just (laughs) just went through a major earthquake and i tripped yeah yeah that's (laughs) um (laughs) Uh, if there's anything the last couple of years have told us, especially during wildfire season, is in Washington specifically, it's like they're typically happen in central eastern Washington, right? But they are close. They're getting creeping closer and closer to the the, the Cascades and on the and on the west side too. So just because we're you think we're on the west side, you think you might be safe from a wildfire. That, yeah. It's true. So our weather patterns are changing. We Mm -hmm. are seeing a lot more extremes in temperature, both a lot hotter and drier in the summer and colder and wetter in the winter. Of course, there's anomalies, but it is definitely better to prepare than to be like, oh, that never happens to me. Like you've never experienced an earthquake, but that doesn't mean it won't happen. That's right. (laughs) So, and it only takes one, right? That's Mm -hmm. the message. It only takes one storm, one earthquake for it to cause a lot of damage. And you can do so many things right now to be prepared. 